Oh, look at all that. If I put it together, does it look like I still have it? <laughs> what have I done? Oh man, this is it. I'm actually doing it. What's up people, welcome to the video. So if you saw that title, you know exactly what you're here for. Today I'm gonna to be shaving off my five month long beard. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? Honestly though, I thought to myself, you know what? Since I took the step to embrace my hair loss and rock that bald head, I think I've become way too comfortable in the process with also having a long beard. Feeling like I need to have a beard in order to pull the bald look off. It occurred to me that I've never actually rocked a clean shaven face in the time that I've been rocking a bald head. And although I didn't consciously acknowledge it, I do feel that deep down, that is partly to do with me relying on having a beard in order to pull off the bald look. And you know, I think that's a major talking point for a lot of guys who are losing their hair. Some guys do tend to panic when they begin losing their hair because they think, wait a minute, how am I gonna pull off a shaved head when I can't even grow a beard? It is almost like a cliche that in order to rock a bald head, you do have to have a long badass beard. And I'm not gonna say it doesn't help or enhance the look, but to say that it is the only way to look good as a bald man is far from the truth. The fact is that if you're going through hair loss and you haven't gone down the medication or transplant route, then there isn't much else you can do but accept it. And if you can't grow a beard to go along with that bald head, then so what? The best thing you can do for yourself right now is accept what you don't have control over and focus on what you do have control over, such as how you perceive perceive the situation, how you choose to go into it. Which is why today, I'm gonna to be facing my own fears and for the first time since being a bald man, I'm gonna be rocking a completely clean shaven face as well as the chrome dome to boot. And another reason I wanted to do this challenge is because like I said, it's got to a point where I do feel like I hold onto my beard like a safety blanket. I feel like it gives me a lot of confidence to look and feel attractive. But the problem with that is, I'm basically doing what I used to do when I had hair on my head. I relied on it to feel confident. And so when it began to go, I clung onto it. I clung onto it even though I was losing it and even though it looked ridiculous at the time. I was afraid of losing my attractiveness and the sense of confidence that I got from having hair. And that's exactly why I shaved my head in the end because I wanted to show myself I can live without it and I can still be a confident and attractive individual. And now that it's got to a point where I rely on my beard to feel attractive, I want to teach myself that I can also live without that. Fellas, let me tell you, you don't need a beard to pull off the bold look or to look attractive, period. The same way you don't need a head full of hair to be attractive. And as much as I'm probably gonna hate it, as much as I'm probably gonna be trying to reattach the broken parts of my beard back to my face, it's necessary. It's necessary to prove to myself that it's okay. And hopefully to also inspire those of you who are nervous about going bald because you can't grow a beard. Major shout out to all the bald and clean shaven brothers. I'm joined in the club as a part-time member at least. Anyway, enough talk. Let's bite the bullet and do this shit. Oh baby, I'm gonna miss you. You'll be back. But right now, I gotta teach myself I can be strong without you. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'm about to do it. Just do it, don't be nervous. Just go in, do it. You still you love me, right? Of course I will, don't be ridiculous. Oh, be brave. I'll let you know Got when this. it's done. Take your time as well, okay? Okay, will do. Love you. Uh, love you too, bye-bye. Bye. God, this is just... It literally feels like I'm about to shave my head again for the first time. That same feeling of dread. I think the only way I'm gonna get through this is to just laugh. Inside I'm gonna be crying, but... Fuck it. Oh my god. Oh wow. Holy shit! <laughs> oh shit. Too late to turn back now. Oh. There's my chin. Oh, you know what? I'm so used to grabbing something here. That's how long my beard actually was. I'm just realizing it now. I'm like, what the hell? I can't even grab anything. <laughs> God, I thought I looked intimidating with the beard. Now look at me. Call me Long John Ricky. God, look at all that. If I put it together, does it look like I still have it? <laughs> what have I done? All right, let's turn it into a normal stash now. Got that 70s porn star tash going on now. <laughs> 
Time for the beard. Well, the mustache. <laughs> I've not seen myself look like this in a while. There we are. Oh, okay, so all we need to do now is completely clean shave the face, go over it with a wet razor, and that's us done. I'll see you in a minute. I ain't got a mustache to stroke anymore, so I might as well just fix my eyebrows. It's not too bad, not too bad. Definitely feel like my face is very small now compared to my body, which is a bit weird, but it's not terrible. I'm coming down, okay? Cool. Okay guys, so now we're gonna get our fiance's reaction. She hasn't seen this yet. She was aware we were doing it, but she hasn't seen it as of yet. Let's see how she reacts to this. <laughs> what, that bad? It looks so strange. <laughs> oh my God. It doesn't even look like you. Holy shit, it doesn't even look like Are you gonna cry? I don't know what reaction to have. This is just great. Oh my god. Here's me thinking, gonna have a really cool reaction like, wow, it looks great, but. It doesn't, you need to give me a chance just to <laughs> digest what I've just seen. I can, I can appreciate that it's shocking. I just feel like my face is really small now compared to my body. You look like a kid. You actually look like a kid. Like you look like a baby. To be fair, I did expect this. She hasn't, she, you've never seen me clean shaven, have you? No, you've had really short stubble, mm. but not Full clean, on. clean shaven. Everything no. off. I don't feel like it looks bad. I think I just- It doesn't look terrible, I just, it's just different. I think, um, I wish my jaw was more, and my chin were more protruding outward. Cause I think my face from the side, it looks like it shrinks really inward. Yeah. Whereas the beard gave it that illusion that it was more forward. Your mum is going to be shocked. It's the craziest thing is, I can hear your voice, but I can't, does that, I don't know whether that makes sense. I can hear a voice that I recognise, but I'm looking at a face and I'm like, shit, that's not the voice, that's not the face that fits the voice. It, want, I thought it like was going to be worse. I prefer the beard, I think. Mm -hmm. I do prefer the beard. Mm -hmm. It makes you look more like... You can't always focus on the things you can't control because it's just a waste of energy at the end of the day and... Just work with what you have. Exactly. Work she's shocked because she's been seeing me with yeah. a beard for the past four years pretty yeah. much. And especially Almost this year. five years it's been him with like either stubble or the big Especially beard. this year though, I've just had a massive beard, yeah. which she likes. So imagine, mm. I've just gone upstairs saying I'm going to do this now. And then I've, I've purposely made her sit down here so I can get her reaction. Because I didn't want to fake or rehearse or stage this at all. You saw, she wasn't thrilled about it, but it is what it is. I'm not like, wow, like I could get used to this sort of thing. But if it, if this is what he has to work with, then it's something we'll deal with. It's something that we can cope with. Because it's, exactly. not, it's not terrible. Exactly. I can get used to it. I think with time I'll yeah. get used to it. But seeing it just now, I'm still hearing a voice I recognise with a face that I kind of don't recognise. So, yeah. That is that. Now me personally, I don't think it looks that bad. You saw with the fiance, she was a bit shocked, but keep in mind, she has known me for the past four and a half years to be with a beard, especially this year. I've had a crazy long beard, it was up to here. So you can appreciate the fact that she's in a bit of shock. I think the only thing that I don't like about it particularly is the fact that compared to the rest of my body, my face and head now looks really small. I think if I had a bit more of a protruding jawline, it would suit me a little bit more, but because my chin and my jaw kind of go inward from the rest of my face, it kind of makes my face and head look really small and my body look way more larger, like my shoulders now. You can see there, they look way more... <laughs> you can just see there, that looks kind of stupid, but it is what it is. Guys, like I said, the whole point of this challenge was to get out of my comfort zone and also inspire you to stop focusing on the things that you do not have control over because it's a waste of energy. Focus on the things that you do have control over and learn to accept yourself as you are. Some people are going to like you, some people are going to be attracted to you, some aren't and that goes for whether you've got a head full of hair, whether you've got a nice beard or whether you're clean shaven and bold like I am right now. But you know in the process of becoming a high value man there's many things that you can do outside of the physical attractiveness you carry. You can work on your life skills, your sense 
sense of humor, your sense of how you carry yourself generally. You know, energy is a big thing, so make sure you're carrying yourself with a sense of high energy and a sense of self-worth, you know? Believe in who you are. That's what I'm gonna try and do for this week or however long I decide to keep this. I'm gonna try and look in that mirror and just have that self-belief, that same sense of confidence that I had with a beard. And you know, it's almost like we've come full circle now. Five years ago, I was embracing my hair loss and dealing with the fear that I felt towards it. And now I'm dealing with the same fear I felt towards not having a beard. And you know what? It's not that bad. Anyway guys, that's all for today. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon to be notified of all the latest content, all that good jazz. My name is Ricky Benang and it's been an absolute pleasure. Happy New Year people, have a blessed 2021 and I'll see you soon. Thank you.